Hey, how's it going? Today I'll show you the easy way how you can download StreamYard to your Fire Stick or Android TV. First of all, you have to get an app called Loader. Here it is, and you can get it for free from the official Amazon App Store or a Google Play Store, depending on your device. To do so, we'll go to search on our Fire Stick, and here in the search bar, just start typing the loader. And here it is, so there was even no need to enter the whole name of the app because it already popped out for us at the bottom. Now just click on the loader and that's the application which you need to get to your device. However, after you get the loader, it's not over yet, we still have to set it up. And to set up the loader, we gotta go to settings. So here we are, let's open them, then scroll down and go to my Fire TV. Open it, and here you have to enable developer options on your device. However, on some Fire Sticks, and especially on the new ones, the developer options might be hidden by default. So if that's the case, don't worry, it's really easy to make them appear. To do so, we'll go to About, select Fire TV Stick, and now you have to click on the middle button on your remote for 7 times. And do it fast, so let's do it. As you can see now the bottom it says no need, you are already a developer. That's in my case, in your case it's going to say that you have become a developer now. And if you go back a bit, you will finally see developer options, which have appeared right here. So now we open them, enable ADB debugging, after that go to install unknown apps, and here we have to turn that option on for the loader. So what it does, it's going to allow us to install other applications from the internet, and not necessarily only from official Amazon App Store. And that's exactly what we're going to do right now. So now let's go to the list of apps on your device. Here it is. And here we have the loader application. However, before actually using the loader, there's one more thing which I really recommend doing. It's of course connecting to a VPN. In my case, I mostly use NordVPN. They are super fast, they cover all my needs, and they're not expensive, as they cost less than a cup of coffee per month, which is great, honestly. In the VPN app, you just connect to any server, and from the moment you connect, all your traffic is going to be totally encrypted. It means nobody can track you or snoop on you online. And that's extremely important if you wish to stay out of trouble. So if you don't have a VPN yet, but you'd like to try it out, I do have a great offer for you. If you use my link, which will be in a pinned comment below the video, you'll get 4 months of NordVPN totally for free, which is an amazing offer. So go follow that link, get 4 months of Nord for free, and then use the loader safely. Now we can finally open the downloader app from your application list, so let's do it. Then on the left side menu, make sure to click on Home, and after that you'll see such a search bar, in which we'll need to enter a link. You'll see the link on your screen in a moment. So here's the link, it's streamia.com, pretty simple, make sure to enter the link exactly as you see on the screen and do not make any mistakes, because if you make a mistake, the link is not going to open. And after that, click on go. And now, in a couple of seconds, this Tegemio website is going to open, and here it is, already loading for us. Now what you have to do here is click on that sandwich button right here, let's click on it and then scroll down and go to download. So click on download. Now once again we have to scroll down and we are looking for the version for our device. Here it is, we are using a Fire Stick, but Android TV version is going to work for us anyway. So here we can see different APKs, which are available for download. For the Fire Sticks I would recommend the ARM APK version, this one, the very first. Let's click on it. And now in a couple of seconds the download is going to start, as you can see, it is really fast. Now click on install in the right bottom corner, and the app is being installed to our Fire Stick. And now after the app has been installed, do not press on open yet, instead click on done, because here we'll have an option to delete the installation file, as we do not need it anymore. So click on delete, and then delete once again. Now we have successfully erased the installation file, and we are good to go to the list of application on our Fire Stick. So here it is, let's open the list of apps. And then at the bottom you see Streamio app which has appeared right here. Now I would recommend you to click on the options button on your remote, that's the button with three horizontal lines. Click on it and then press on move to front. This way Streamio app is going to be at the very top of your application list 
and it's going to be really easy for you to access it every time you need it. Then once again don't forget to use a VPN to stay private and out of trouble online. And you can follow my link in the pinned comment below to get 4 months of NordVPN for free. Then safely open Streamio and here you need to log into your account by either scanning the QR code, which is an easier option you can scan with your mobile phone or just follow the link which you'll see on the screen. And from there it's pretty straightforward. So I hope the video is helpful and see you next time. Bye bye.